Hello everyone. Uh, so today is a very early stream. I usually don't stream this early, but today is the new patch of Final Fantasy XIV, and I know some people that are going to be streaming today, so I want to wake up early and get right into it. And I'm also just excited for it. So. Yeah. I'm also very much looking forward to the new, uh, Savage Year. I've already taken a quick look at some of the gear. I quite like the, uh... The Jacket of Striking. Very busy now. I actually really like the look of the jacket. Kind of reminds me of the... Uh, what was it called? I don't remember what exactly it was called, but... One of the Mog Store ones. I like it. It's a nice casual jacket. So I'm looking forward to the raid gear. And... I can finally put these in my uh, glam dresser. Which I've been looking forward to for quite a while. So let's see what the new... Comedy stuff looks like. Ah. Yeah, does this actually spin? No, it looks like it only spins when you unsheath it. That's a little bit of a shame. Oh, these have an actual effect to them. Oh, that is just cool. They have little bits of glow. I think I'm going to be collecting a lot of these for my glamour. These are all winners of the weapon design contest, if I remember correctly. This doesn't actually look that bad. A little iffy at first, but... Oh, that's neat. The stars actually come out when it's unsheathed. Cerberus Fang is alright. It's a bit plain, honestly, but there's not a lot that you can do with gun blades, really, so. I feel like a little piece of dust in my throat and I have to keep muting to cough. These don't look too bad, actually. I like the monk gloves that are always worn. And then... Uh... Like how they always show on your fists. This is the one that I'm going to be getting. Ooh, I really like that. Kind of gives me a zor... Oh, I absolutely love that. I am looking forward to my tome weapon for this tier. That is so cool and so beautiful. I was grinding for the Blade Samurai weapon last night before the servers went down, but yeah, I don't think I need that anymore. Absolutely love this one.
I just love that it's two blade. It, one of them. I yeah, it's just, I love it. I am looking so forward to getting it. These are neat. Ooh, cherry blossoms too. Yeah, I like these. Might I'm definitely gonna go for these when I uh, get Ninja to ninety. This one, eh, as I've heard the, what is it, this, no that's not it, even this or this to the new one. That one looks like Grandma's Fine China, but again. Is this the last one? Nope. Twin Moons? Ah, those aren't too bad. They're interesting, but I don't think they're ones that I'd end up using. Black Mage Staff? Okay, that is cool. I like how they're adding more effects to weapons for this. Eh. Summoner weapon, pretty mid. Not gonna lie. Making me kind of glad that I swapped off Sam, or not Sam, uh, swapped off Summoner. Learn a new class. Looks interesting, a little weird, but not bad. And then the healer one's last. This one is cute. A little bit plain, but it's cute. I like it. This one I kind of like the aesthetic of. Okay, I really like the aesthetic of. That's interesting. It's like a painting set. This one I really like. If I get to Astro to 90, I am 100% using this. That is just plain cool. And the last one. Fairy Wings. Neat, but... Eh. Anything else? Oh, right. The shield. The shield is very ornate, but not what I'd probably end up using. Let's see. Alright, the tome stuff in terms of armor is kinda alright, but not my sort of thing. other thing I'm looking forward to seeing is what are these weapons gonna look like oh we can't even look at them yet that's unfortunate let's see what my striking top look Ooh. okay at first I was not sold on the new tier of gear but this is a nice foil to this. I actually quite like it. Yeah, that is actually really nice. The whole floating things. And getting a better look at it instead of just one still image is really sells me on it a lot more. Yeah, just seeing one fixed angle without any of the effects and on some random character. 
is kind of meh. But seeing it on my character and being able to actually look at it, I really like them. Let's see what the other ones are. Scouting, basic naming it looks like. Aiming, oh, scouting and aiming look more or less the same. Well, let's look at all the, let's look at the full set first for striking. Striking. The top is good. The rest are all right. I could see maybe throwing some of these into a uh, glam. Let's see what the magic ones look like. See if I made the right choice. Ah, nice subtle effect. But this is making me happier and happier that I swapped in terms of the look of the gear. I do really like this subtle uh, glitter. Really gives it a holy look. Gloves. Ooh, I like the gloves for casting. All right, let's get on with the MSQ now. Now that I've uh, spent a long time looking at gear, I kind of want to see that samurai weapon on my actual samurai. Let's see. Oh yeah, those look really good. It's a shame that the white one will be kind of hidden by the jacket, but overall that is like an amazing samurai weapon because I absolutely love the sort of plain ones. Ones that are just a bit ornate but not overwhelmingly so. And they still have a nice clean katana look. Hey morning pickle raf how's it going? How's your day been for what day there's been so far? Yeah, early morning stream for MSQ. Uh. All right, I should have turned my music back on. I turned it off when I was starting stream. It is good to see you. Have any news from old Charlian? You get here from Ashtola regarding her search for means to return to the void. I must confess that uh, Loki kind of wished Patch would be delayed so I can finish his level without having to worry about 14. That's understandable. I kind of hoped it would be uh, Wednesday, just because that would have been perfect, because that's my usual stream day. Because I'm planning on watching a Hino stream tonight, so I wanted to get as much uh, story as I can done tonight, or this morning. I'm used to saying tonight. I must confess their signs left me feeling restless. Nor am I alone in this. Sestinia has given such an excess of energy that he's been helping train our soldiers with Nuri Grumble. As for Zero... Hello there. Is something the matter? I don't know. Random paid us a visit, and so I was appraising her of recent... Apprising her of recent developments or the lack thereof. Are you heading somewhere? Aye, to replenish my ether. Yeah, I was looking at some of the new gear and weapons, and they are great, honestly. Would you like to come? Yeah, might as well. Got nothing better to do. 
love the look of some of them. Your most welcome invitation, timely too, I might add. For myself, was thinking of venturing out into the city. It would be my pleasure to join you. You will accompany us, of course. Come then, I have an errand to run at the bazaar first. Alright, I'm gonna turn music back on. I'll throw it to 50. There. Yeah, I was looking at some of the weapons and I really, really like them. Like, I love the samurai weapon, I love the reaper weapon, I love the... Called Dragoon Weapon. Love the Ninja Weapon. There are just so many good ones that I'm looking forward to getting, even just for glam's sake in the future. And the new tier of Ray Gear looks really nice now that it's not just one fixed picture. I'm very excited to get the diable ones. Because looking at all the gear, I am eating good as a new samurai. Because the samurai stuff looks so much better than the stuff that a summoner would have gotten. Like, I know the reason I swapped to samurai was to learn something new, but... The gear being really good is just icing on top. Gate to city's prosperity, there's no surer way than to visit the bazaar and observe the people. To learn from Awan and his uh, predecessors. How's it going, Merchant? You're Mistress Zero, how rare to see her with others. I'm picking up some more spice. I told me to do so for my next visit. Mistress Zero has quite the tolerance, you see. Sisters know we haunt your fond of spicy food, but I doubt any of us will keep up with her. Just the spices they normally have on hand. And can't quite satisfy her, which one have to provide what they need to achieve more rigorous uh, rigorous flavors. Now then, fry being the spice of life, perhaps you'd like to choose something extra to blend with Mr. Zero's usual. Help keep things interesting. What do you say? Fine by me, I can appreciate uh, you can appreciate the nuances of this world's sustenance far better than I can, I expect. Did I die this? Just looking more red than usual. No. I guess it's just naturally red. Oh yeah, makes sense. This is making me I'm actually quite curious what the next tier of uh what is it? Uh, relic gear will look like. I wonder if they're gonna go with the comedy designs next. Or we trade them in, because now we have our basic relic, our, like they look good, and we have a glowy version. Next, we might be able to get our uh, joke weapons, like they might be willing to do it this tier, just because uh, we now have a previous relic that we can recreate. Hmm. That's obviously Pepper. That's probably Chili. What these would be? That... Wait, no, that... Oh, those would be Chili's. Maybe? That would be Chili Powder. Maybe? And Yellow Flakes would be another kind of Pepper. Maybe? Hmm. Let's go with red husks. Ah, citrus like scent. Oh, I can see what each thing is. That one's just plain spice. What are these? Oh, it's a root. Yeah, let's go with spice. I like a good hot sauce. Uh, 
Uh, it's your to sample the spice. Oh boy. Kind of like place some spice on your tongue. And spice. The reaction speaks volumes. I will suffice them. It's a pleasure, Mr. Zero. I do give uh, Mariah my regards. I quite like spice when it adds a uh, actual flavor to food. Like, I don't tend. To... Oh, hey, it's way. Way FK. I like when spice adds flavor to food. I can't stand it when spice is supposed to be the flavor of food. Just for you, or we could make the kettle and share it. There would be enough not only for your companions but other diners as well. I dare say everyone will be delighted. Learning to share. Very well. A full kettle then. Excellent. We'll prepare it at once. And for your excellency and our esteemed adventurer, are you happy to try a bowl of Zero's curry? We can make yours milder if you prefer. Grateful though I am for the offer, I cannot fully appreciate the flavor with this vessel. Another time, perhaps. She's trying to avoid the spice. Back on my account, my friend. Eat and enjoy. I'll have his excellency's helping. I don't need it milder. Understood. Please make yourselves comfortable. I was the one with this track, the last stand. It gladdens me to see you taken to life in Rad's at hand, Zero. In the area of our cuisine, not least of all. Spicy dishes have long been favored in our sultry clime for their ability to whet the appetite and cool the body. Of course, spices also have the effect of preserving foods, which makes them highly coveted in foreign lands. All of this has given rise to a thriving spice industry, and the wealth it brings has allowed our nation to prosper while maintaining its neutrality. So you trade your spices? Seems rather more complicated than trading in ether. <laughs> in the beginning, this land was no more than refuge for me. But now it is my home, and the people of Radzat Han, my beloved children. Together, we build this vibrant nation. And naught will please me more than to show it to my sister one day. Vibrant. Your Vicante said the same when he described this world. A reminder of all that has been stolen from us. What many who remember doubtless yearn to take back. Looks like frames might be dropping on my stream itself. My stream labs. It's save yourself. Hmm. As I told Ruben, I'm not sure my enough about frames being dropped, so speak. I still do not understand what made me feel this way. 
nor what compels you mortals to help one another. But I have to someday. Looks like it's stopped lagging. For the most part. Do hope that you will find the Weird, because it's... Oh, wow. Uh, thank you, uh... Azure and, uh, poor Boyo for, uh, res your resubs at the exact same time. Uh, sir, what time is it? And random stream at this time? Yes! Surprise! It's a special early stream, because I wanted to get through as much of the story as I can today. Because I don't want to be spoiled with the stream I'm watching later tonight. I'm a new streamer now, apparently. This is like 10 a.m. I think right now? My time? Yeah, it's just after 10. But uh, very excited about the new patch, so I decided to stream it early. But welcome in, both of you. How are you guys' days going? If your days have been going. Doing the new EX? Uh, can't wait to see you do it. I'm looking forward to it. It will be a good warm-up to uh, my uh, Samurai Savage. Arc. I've been looking at some of the gear, and I am absolutely loving the look of the samurai gear this year. It's actually making me... Oh, that reminds me, I didn't actually look at the X weapons. I'm going to have to do that when this cutscene's over. Because I've looked at the uh, new tome weapons and uh, new raid gear. Both of which are great. I absolutely love the samurai weapon. I'm looking so forward to getting it. So I think it might be my favorite Sam weapon, period. Yeah. Get on with the story. What is going on? What what's happening? Who? of Mistress Zero, the Sartrap's honored guest. We are serving a special curry for anyone who wishes to partake. But be warned, it is not for the faint of heart. Oh boy. Oh, by all means, I welcome the challenge. Oh, sisters have mercy. <laughs> Manderville Quest really up their game in terms of animation. However, I fear Zero's curry would test the limits of their design. Apologies for the delay. Please relax and enjoy your meal. It can't be worse than the stuff I had in Orvrant, eh? Learn the joy of tasting food. And there's the after effects. Well, life flashed for our eyes and it was exhilarating. I trust you have eaten your fill. I shall have Marit prepare a meal for us to take to esteem. I suspect he too is overdue a replenishment. 
By this hour, he will have retired to his chambers at Magaduta. Come, let us pay him a visit. I'm gonna take a quick look at the extreme weapons since I already know we're gonna be fighting Golbez as our uh trial. They've clearly shown that in the trailers and whatnot. Spicy Circulation 22. Reforged by the flames of truly challenging curry. What? Does that actually do anything? Or... Okay. I have no idea what that did, but... Uh, I had Spicy Circulation. See what the X weapons look like. I'm also curious what the mount will look like. Huh. Looks like the tomes aren't added yet. So I can't actually look at the new gear. Another Meow Meow. It's kind of fun just kind of running into people well, that I am associated with, at least. I'm doing these quests. Challenge. And then Zero is satisfied. I wonder how long it is until we get uh, Zero's gear as a Mog Station item. Because at the very least, we know the gloves can be taken off. Based on that last cutscene. The hat, obviously, would be able to be a separate piece. The rest would probably be a one full body thing. Let's go see Astinian. Astinian, are you there? We've brought something for you. I enter. I know someone's going to be liking this scene. Are they trying to show off a new system or something? This is the second sweat moment. Squid masala from the Mehane. I thought you might enjoy it. Masala, right? Eh? I prefer my squid dried. But I'm sure it won't disappoint. My thanks. What is Square doing? Because the last time we had oiled up uh, Blacksmith. Idle as I am in our sorceress's absence, I see. I can't offer much in the way of entertainment, but make yourselves comfortable. He is eyeing him. <laughs> Zero starting to understand, uh... <laughs> no, no. We simply caught our friend unprepared. He will Zero starting to understand, uh... We're starting to have an interest in mortals. Hmm. 
I'm liking the humor so far. I can imagine the reactions of all kinds of people to it. My friends, tell me, were you able to devise a way to return to the 13th? I believe so. It required a visit to the moon, where I took the opportunity to enlist Orionje's assistance. My stream is still a little bit laggy, but... Specifically during the cutscenes, which is weird, because I'm getting... Upwards of 90, 80 to 90 frames on my actual game. Hmm. Ishtola have told me all. I should be glad to help you free Ashdaya. We really are reforming the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. spoke true, both Golbez and Ashdaya are on the moon of the 13th. Unlike here in the source, however, we have no means of making the journey from the surface of the star itself. The technology simply does not exist. Therefore, I propose that we employ a gate to deliver us directly to our destination. Moon's haunted. Is such a feat possible? Moon's haunted by demons. Where's my shotgun? The source and its reflections share striking similarities in geography. A phone call for some random number I don't know. Actually, I don't think I've gotten a phone call from anyone I know in the last, like, three months. And according to a certain someone who unceremoniously whisked us away to the first, the same locations across the worlds are intrinsically bound. All of which is to say, were we to pass through a gate on the source's moon, it should lead us to the moon of the 13th. You think Raha would be the best to uh, help us get to the 13th? Because he does have experience. And enough experience that lets someone else summon souls from other shards. Gaining entry to our world. Thus did I decide to seek Orionje's counsel. Oh, I like that little touch of uh are aware of our proposed endeavor. While they are yet deliberating precautionary measures, they have pledged their full cooperation. The uh Vestinian spear in the background just leaning on a wall. found a way to open this gate. Be it in Razat Han or Shalian, scholars have long cast their gaze onto the endless dark of the void. And so, with Harnish insights to augment our knowledge, we have indeed conceived of a promising plan to pierce the veil. A plan I am confident will succeed, precisely because the moon is our stage. Hearing some of the interactions of Harold Lopperitz is also their stage, too. The will be extensive, and we will require vast quantities of ether. After all, our gate must be large enough to accommodate another great worm. Ooh. So we're bringing, uh, Retro with us. My proposal entails delivering copious amounts of ether to the Tower of Babel in Garlemald. Oh boy, final days to Electric Boogaloo. As you will recall, Clan Daniel used the structure to destroy the brand's imprisoning Zodiac. And we, in like manner, will use it to channel ether to the moon, and thereby open our gate. I see. Then we shall need someone on the moon for the necessary rituals. I wonder if the Watcher can help us. Just so, Your Excellency. I intend to head back anon for that very purpose, as well as to help devise our strategy to deal with invading Voidscent. Along with our lunar allies, 
We will once again require the assistance of your alchemist, Nidana, not least of all. May I trouble you to serve as their escort? Fine by me. The room is beginning to feel constrained. For my part, I shall oversee the requisite tasks on the staff. Might I prevail upon you for your assistance? If all are in agreement, then let us set to work. <coughs> we'll open our gate, and we will stop Golbez. Somehow. The only way we can really stop Golbez is to force him into the... to our shard and kill him, because if we kill him in the... Actually, no, there's the Contra Memoria stuff, I guess. The PETA. No, that does look more like a PETA than it does a moon when it's super close up like that. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if they used that as a texture. Because it is similar enough that it could be easily mistaken. And at the distance, you usually see the moon in 14. And I don't really have a use for any of these, so I'll just go with the silver pieces. Besides, if I really want them, they'll be on the market board for like 20 gil each. Is it disposal? Ooh, new dungeon. And all are ready, then I'll set forth our preparations to complete. May I beg a moment to exchange this vessel for its grown counterpart? In the keeping of alchemist at the high crucible. Of course, we shall accompany the thither and thence begin our journey. I'm curious about the new dungeon. And as always, I'm going to be doing uh, my first run of story dungeons as a uh, trust. Because I'm going to be doing a million runs of the dungeon in the future for tomes and stuff, so I may as well do a special run of trust on my first run, because I'm not going to be doing it ever again, really. Probably. So I'm very curious about the new raid lore. Because looking at the logo for uh, the The Dark Throne logo, I think it was, is the other half of La Habrea's mask. Specifically, the half, I believe, of the other La Habrea, the warped one. Hmm, interesting. Whose name's Kyle, who loves monster energy drinks and loves skateboarding. He's tried to punch a hole in our drywall before. Oh yeah, and I am going to be saving the actual, uh... Raid stuff. Or later, because... It looks like my stack and I are going to be doing the raids together. So at most, I will be on stream unlocking the first one and then not actually doing any of the raids on stream, because they'll be streamed by another member of the static. Lockroom indeed. Well suited to the work ahead, I doubt not. Now we need to explain Stroll's plan in greater detail. Alright, and last night I actually got, uh... 
the 1500 commendations for uh, servers went down. Which means as soon as I do the healer quests, I can actually become a Burger King crown. Which will be kind of neat. I don't even wear my uh, crafter crown. At this point, I mostly just use it as uh, help people with experience buffs when they're low level, but it's a thing I can do now. Actually, it's so loud, I keep being that. You know, we seek to open a void gate in Marlam Torum. We might gain direct passage to the moon of the 13th. Whilst our comrades labor upon the moon, we must needs to accomplish two tasks. First is the procurement of a, sub a substantial quantity of ether, and subsequent delivery of it unto the Tower of Babel. The structure was once used to siphon the land's essence by way of the Telophoroi spires. Such a method, however, doth pose an unacceptable risk to the greater ethereal balance of our world. Thus must we seek an alternate means of conveying our requ requisite resource. It's been a while since I've had to actually just read out text. It's a lot easier to talk when you're forming the words yourself or just having words said. Our second task doth pertain to the use of the Tower of Babel itself. You may recall that this portal unto the moon was placed under the supervision of the Elzebar contingent. If we would employ it to different ends, we must first obtain the contingent's express permission. I'm pretty sure I can just say, hey, can I use the tower? And they will say yes. And even if they say no, they, uh... I don't think they can stop me. I'd like to believe they would not refuse us, so perhaps we should concern ourselves with the ether problem first. Have you any idea once we might source the vast quantity needed? I mean, at this point, I'm sure I could walk up to, like, Amurk and say, make me the Pope, and he would. I could be appointed as the leader of any of the city-states with a single question to the current leaders. That's the joys of being the world-saving hero many times over. Aye, a likely location doth come to mind. Let's make for the airship landing. There I shall reveal more. I'll say something else, but I forgot. It is nice that they've uh, pushed back the raids, or the savage raids, a week after the patch. Well, sort of a half and half, I figure. Like, it's nice because it means you don't have to speedrun the MSQ if your group wants to. Uh... Alright, I forgot that these are able to be worn while doing other stuff and just walking around. So you don't have to speed run the MSQ if your group wants to do world firsts. Or if your group wants to do it right when they unlock and whatnot. So everyone can be ready on the same day to start right away. Come here for the view, it's beautiful. I'm most keen to know of Orion J's potential solution. The worst case I was prepared to offer one of my eyes, but it seems it will not come to that. Are all present and accounted for? Excellent. We shall travel to Charlian, and then seek the nearby Isle of Ham. Near to the surface of the Isle, the rivers of Ether converge. The churning energy of the confluence is released by the way of geysers. Ether geysers. Interesting. Oh, originally the Ragnarok was to be powered by Ether harvested from the Isle. But as well you know, the, an alternate power source was ultimately found for the vessel. Passage into Ultima Thule. The very limits of existence was facilitated by not less than the strength of the Mother Crystal herself. Such the Isle of Hom's vast ether deposits remained untouched. We may help ourselves with that energy, provided we are able to secure the foreign's permission. Yeah, again, with needing permission, nothing is straightforward in this world. Such is the nature of politics, I fear. As the signs of the Seventh Dawn have been officially disbanded, no longer we recognize, are we a recognized collective. Somewhat disadvantaged position, bureaucratically speaking. Fortunately, there is a recognized and respected body upon which we might prevail. 
Students of Baldeshium. Baldeshium? Upon arriving in Charlene, let's seek our friends at the Annex. Ooh, we're going right there. Ah, augmented Lunar. That's a lot of people. It's always really neat on Patch Day just seeing the sheer volume of people in areas that are normally almost completely empty. Is that a Manderville relic? Yes, it is. Manderville Spear. That looks really neat. I'm just literally bursting with ether. That's our Paradise Void Scent Dream of. Mr. Skrull hath burdens of her own. You may be confident. She'll do her utmost to assist us. My last game here was deliver my Cyrus scales. How long ago it seems now? Ooh, that's a good point. We can put the we can play the debt card. Welcome back, Random. What brings you here today in such colorful company? Greetings, Ojiga. On this occasion, we are come to seek the student's assistance in a matter of some urgency. In that case, I want to speak with Kral. She's in the main hall, sorting through her archives. There's a visitor there at the moment, but it's no one you don't know, so feel free to show yourself in. I assume Grahatia. Oh. It's, uh, what's his name? The Gleaner. I'm not good at names unless they're part of the direct main cast. Two. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Oh, zero and not in this vessel, perhaps. Tis I, Vashan. Though you are welcome to call me Vritra, if you prefer. Pen in her mind. I merely accompany them. I pray you forgive us our intrusion. If you are occupied, we shall call again anon. Quite all right. We've just finished swapping all our secrets anyway. Erinfil occasionally comes and shares the latest gleaner gossip, you see. From forgotten ruins to mysterious relics, if there's aught that might be of interest to the students, he kindly lets us know. I still need to work on the... the... Eureka. I kinda just stopped after that one stream. Cause it's just such a boring grind on my own. Though I still do want a relic from it. Alas, I must soon depart on an expedition. As I may be away for an extended period, I wish to give Kryle fair warning. Hence my visit today. I see. There are specimens that want for procuring, I presume? Perhaps in the place we no, need to go? It isn't Gilchit business, but rather... I still want the Gleaner outfit as a... Glam. At least the backpack would be neat as a fashion accessory. But enough about me. You have business too, yes? And I'm in the way. <laughs> Far from it. As a matter of fact, we should be grateful if you could stay and share your knowledge of the nearby isles with us. We seek a means to travel to the void. There, a man named Goldes plots to invade our world. A man who even now holds my sister hostage. The story thus far. Require a great quantity of ether, which we understand may be had on the Isle of Harm. We came in the hope of exploring how it might best be procured. An invasion from the 13th? 
Must the stakes always be so dramatic? You have a knack for finding trouble. I'm a hero. That's what it, that's what heroes do. If gleaners collected the world that in crises, you could make quite a name for yourself in our profession. <laughs> okay, that's good. It's true the Isle of Ham is a veritable pot of ether, but as it's under the forum's direct jurisdiction, only a privileged few get to test foot there. I myself haven't. So if we want to help ourselves to the Isle's ether, we'll need to secure the forum's permission. Very well. The students of Baldessian recognize your endeavors as combating a grave threat to the world. As representative, I hereby pledge our full assistance. Now that it's official, you may leave the politics and paperwork to me. Our operations remain small, but we shouldn't meet any undue resistance. We are truly grateful. If I may. According to the original plan for the Exodus, Ether collected from the Isle of Harm was to power the Ark. Art thou perchance familiar with the logistics of this endeavor? Uh, I don't know anything about that, I'm afraid. Nor do I think any cleaner would. You might have better luck asking someone involved with the Ark's construction. Like the explosive Lollifel? Perhaps? Good, for instance. No. She's a researcher in Charlene Hamlet. I like the explosive Lollifel. On the Ragnarok's propulsion system. You could do worse than to seek her out while awaiting the forum's verdict. We may well do just that. Our gratitude for thine advice, and may this threat be but a memory upon thy return. You're quite welcome. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Best start drafting our petition. Go on and find your researcher. I'll contact you as soon as we've made progress. Let us leave matters here to Mistress Cryle and hie ourselves to Labyrinthos. It's been a while since I've been to Labyrinthos. I think the last time I was there for anything but a map was to unlock the Savage Raids. Oh, it's still cleaner than my desk. A pity you can't tidy yourself. I should have had Ishtola enchant you when I had the chance. And what have we here? Hmm. An invitation of sorts, perhaps? Later, Cryo. Later. You've work to do. Is that? It's gotta be important, or they wouldn't have put that in there. Hmm. I know they're in a cutscene, but I like to wave to any meow meows or friends that I see. Ooh, I like that outfit. Falls away ambulance. I like this outfit, actually. What is that? Ooh, that's a nice gun. Omaha. That. Hmm. I also quite like the look of the Manderville revolver, just based on the icon here. Is that a 
pistol down there? Oh, it looks like a flintlock. That's neat. I like their glam. I have a little bit of a habit whenever I see a neat glam to see how I can steal it. There aren't many that stand out to me usually, but when they stand out, they really stand out. Is that Waka? Eternity as well. There we go. Oh yeah, it actually is Waka. Literally the only reason I recognize Waka is because he was in Kingdom Hearts. Right, it's weird being able to click here now. It's been so long since I've actually had MSQ. I kind of missed it. Still remember the days when it was like a big feat for me to see the 2 be continued back in Shadowbringers. I originally really got into Final Fantasy XIV around 5.3, around the time that Endwalker was even announced, I think it was. So I remember I was in the firmament grinding out my miner while the announcement was going on. Just seeing the people in the shout chat talking about the hype of the new expansion and whatnot. It was really neat, honestly. Looking forward to when the next expansion is going to be announced. I've seen it, I mean, all the sky's magnificence. It did occur to me that such an expansive simile was within men's power to create. This is still, yeah, it's really neat that it's an artificial sky. I found a researcher. Are you one of the people I had to hunt down during that worst quest of Endwalker? Sisters, how delightful. You require assistance and ask, uh, ask away. So what happens that you caught me in post-deadline bliss. Forgive us for the abruptness of our inquiry, but tis our understanding that thou had charge of the Ragnarok's propulsion systems. We should like to know how ether harvested at the Isle of Hom was to be stored and transported to the Ark, if the disclosure of such information is permitted. No, oh, it's no bother at all. We built special tanks that can store ether just like we use casks to store wine. Simple, really. Simple, but quite brilliant in construction. They raveled even crystals for etheric capacity. The pay we never got to use them. Ah, how muddled and distant the memory. When Doom's deadline loomed large, we extricated ourselves from the waste and nine mire of work only to end up chin deep in another. As at one with the world, conduit to the energy and creation, now, now I'm truly alive. Who I thought that sleeping in a bed and eating warm meals could make such a difference. I feel positively functional. Dear State Rav is the thrill of dancing on the knife edge of failure. She has lost it. I think she might have been the one that had lost it before. <laughs> we are glad for you, quite. On the subject of ethereal tanks. Do you know how, uh, what became of them? Hmm. What did become of them? Life me, I can't seem to remember. Oh boy. Time to remake them or search for them. But I do remember someone who might remember. You should be back by now to look for the fellow wearing an outfit that screams, I've been on vacation and you haven't. Well, we shall seek out this conspicuous colleague of mine. Our sincerest gratitude, Margaret. You do look after thyself. Come, let's seek this individual attire to manage the gist of a recent furlough. I don't know why, but I felt oddly full of energy for this stream. Guru again.
Well, yeah, I brought my uh, chocobo out of retirement. I've been uh, having them help me with my fates. The bitter memory of dying. Let me guess, they're going to be uh, wearing an outfit like Techno usually wears. Well, and I practice the same thing in thine. Hmm, I wonder where they are. I don't know what vacation is, but the man strikes me as the most relaxed the most. More relaxed the most. Oh, yeah, he's wearing the outfit. It's the boom lollafell. Face that launched our teeny tiny toy boat. Where have you been, random? Able to catch a bit of rest? This guy is fun. If I don't know about either tanks, who in Bargot's name would? Or right in my own workshop, they were. We found what we are looking for. Pleasure as always, Master Coco. I trust thy respite proved rejuvenating? Then some. I won't bore you with the details, at least not without a drink in me. So, why the interest in our little old tanks? For me to explain. Looking to turn the moon into a portal to hell. I see, I see. I think I've got the long and short of it. It goes without saying, but we all owe you more than we can ever repay. You need our Aether tanks, they're at your disposal. Just one problem. You need a form's approval to set foot on the Isle of Palm. Or up to me, you'd be on the next ship out, but that lot can't move their horses unless it's in accordance with procedural motions. You may be assured that my backside is immaculate. <laughs> hey, a fortune note. <coughs> Golly, a stump and thighs. Uh, Master Fortune note. And Scholar Monta. French guy. What, what a surprise. Pardon the intrusion. Form have deliberated your petition and we should decide to deliver our verdict directly. I'd hope that Mara Pandemonium has not been overshadowed by other concerns. That is discussion for another time. Oh, this is probably one of those uh little things that changes if you talk. Or if you do the if you don't do the raids, he probably doesn't mention it. You have been granted special dispensation to travel to the Isle of Home for the purposes of etheric extraction on one condition. On account of its rich deposits of ether, the Isle is home to throngs of vicious beasts. We ask that you call any such creatures you encounter. That's what I do best. That's all. Given the vast amount of ether we seek, I expect a far higher price. Oh, believe me, we do not underestimate the value of what you desire. Yeah, we simply owe the students of Baldesion and their esteemed collaborators a debt of gratitude. I felt that expediting your request was a suitable way to repay it. Debt of gratitude. You have taken the liberty of arranging your passage to the Isle of Hom. Your vessel awaits in the Scholar's Harbor. And I better get those Aether tanks loaded on the airship. We're we'll ready to take them anywhere you need, assuming it's safe. Head back to the annex, but should you need anything else, don't hesitate to call. Time to call some beasts. I was looking at the buffs, and I saw Samurai actually got some nice buffs so far. Like, small potency changes, but quite a few of them. I'm looking forward to seeing the big numbers I can pump out in terms of damage. That's a lot of people. I thought those were NPCs, but they have a shiny weapon. 
master devotional and scholar French name. To personally deliver these glad tidings, we must endeavor to repay their faith in us. I'm not even trying to pronounce the other guy's name. Seems like this form is like Alize. They help others simply because they want to. Dungeon time, I think. Bound for the Isle of Harm. You look like the ones Master Fortuno told me to expect. I wish I could toggle off this thing occasionally. It's like definitely in the way right now. You're ready to depart, <laughs> and so am I. Just say the word. Is something the matter? I did recruit one other to our party, but he is late to arrive. Hmm, wonder who it is. I've watched the trailers, so. Forgive me my delay. One thing I was kind of disappointed in the trailer was that none of the music in it really stood out like uh, Scream did. But I am looking forward to the rave music because rave music is always top tier. Like, Soken does not miss. Good to see you. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm... I was just playing the music in the trailer, but... Like, a Soken 5 is an average musician's 8, I'd say. At least in my opinion. If it isn't Varshan, they do grow up so quickly. Orionje tells me we have a host of exciting new tribulations to face. And you must be Zero. I've heard all about your daring do in Gargamold. A pleasure. We really are getting the sounds back together. from strengthening our company with his redoubtable skill at arms, Sancred may also serve as a mentor in those matters that trouble him. He's an expert in that, considering Reen. I speak of the intangible forces which bring souls together. Sancred is possessed of experience both unique and insightful that I am sure he would gladly share with thee. Thou needst but ask. We brought him in as a therapist and a tank. But we're not going to need his tanking services, unfortunately. Because I'm the tank. My turn. I'm still disappointed that they uh, reduced the energy of the my turn from Thangrid. It's just so plain now. My turn. Does not strike me as a mentoring sort. Eh, he's got his Burger King crown somewhere. Not me to borrow from Alahom, let's sail forthwith. Social struggles aside, Zero seems more capable of handling herself. Still, I shall aid her in what capacity I can. New dungeon time. I'm gonna crank the BGM. I'm very. Polar bears. Ooh. I think they made those polar bears specifically from uh, that one summer event.
Very nice dungeon. I like it. Very tundra. Ooh. I like the motif in it. I love the flow motif in it. Oh, and it makes sense because of the ether, the fact that this is the most ether that we can find short of the Mother Crystal. I think I'm going to be listening to this track a lot. guys from uh when we were in uh the unsundered world these concepts made it out of elpis i know it's probably just them reusing their assets but i like to think that these specifically were approved by Hithlo. this track so much. It's kind of taking the time just to listen to it. love how Soken uses motifs in his music. It's like, this is both recognizable, but unique at the same time. That's one plus about doing this as a uh, thrust is that you get to just take in the dungeon without having to worry about making other people wait for you. That just looks amazing. Need to refresh my stream because it was very delayed because I keep my stream on my other monitor just so that way I can uh, make sure I'm not getting frame drops or anything. Right. 
result in frame drops, but, uh... It's really neat, because this... There's, like, the temperature here, and then it turns to green. Oh, hey, there's Charlie and Buildings over there. I just completely wasted Bulwark because he stayed stunned for way too long. Server hiccup or I wonder if I had an internet hiccup or something there. My game froze for a minute and uh oh, what the hell is that? Red Beast of the Seas, interesting. Oh yeah, they up this a lot. Like the range of it. I forgot how much damage Holy actually does. At least it can do. Oh. Interesting. Oh, those probably have a bigger radius. This is actually a really neat mechanic, though. Andre's not doing a great job of uh, healing. Or maybe he's doing a perfect job. Oh, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. References to the unknown sounds that recorded in the sea? There's upsweep, the blue, the resonances that it's using. Oh. 
If so, that is really neat. No gear from that. There are all kinds of unusual or unexplained sounds in the sea that have been recorded. And three of them that come to mind are Julia, the Bloop, and Upsweep. Which Upsweep and Bloop were I'm still not used to new paladin. I'm used to bottom requiesca and then hitting these instead of the total eclipse prominence holy circle. Getting a free cast every once in a while instead of it being part of a rotation. Ooh, treasure! Ooh. Distance bracelet of slaying. <coughs> yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I'm probably gonna throw it in the. I'm gonna probably turn it into seals, that's what I was trying to think of. Getting I have to actually pop fully circle. Man, that's a lot of damage that Goring Blade can do in Vis. Or as close to Biss as I can be bothered. I'm just in full of Bissos. Which is technically not Biss, because there are some stuff that was supposed to be a different tier, but. Static, I was gonna Ooh. treasure golems. Together we shall overcome this. What a while. I don't know what that is. Oh, that was an AoE on someone. You know, this kind of reminds me of Aglaia. Oddly enough. Like the Charlian buildings even kind of give me the same vibe. But specifically this gives me a real Aglaia vibe.
This is unexpected. Usually the they try to make just small pulls for trusts, but this is a surprising number. Like it's not like it's a challenge, but it feels like it's slightly more hard hitting than usual trusts are. Three hundred. Oh, it's better to single target the Holy Spirit if it's only two enemies. There's got to be the treasure behind the waterfall. Oh, I thought this was part of the upcoming Criterion. I don't even know the Paladin opener. I've done like one thing that could be considered a high-ish end on Paladin, and that is it. Ooh. That hits surprisingly hard. Ooh, those are big AoEs. Spicy. Gonna LB someone. Yes, nice, nice. These look like eh? Huh, what are the odds? They look like golden versions of what I'm already wearing. Distant stuff looks like it's uh deep shadow. Just 
not quite as edgy colors. Interesting. I can see people grinding for it, because some of the deep shadow stuff is really nice. Ooh, wow. This reminds me of Reminds me of that uh, one cave in Crisis Core near the end of it. Looks incredible. That almost reminds me of Amarot. Just that one specific building. Not just how good this is for refilling health. Obviously, it's nowhere near as good as Paladin, or I mean, Warrior. So he's being Warrior, I see the opposite of what I'm playing. Wait, it was a to AoE attacks, but single target for that. I'm gonna actually save my Circle of Scorn for the next group. Quick arm material. I'm just gonna eat that. This. Do I keep it or. I don't need this hanging awning. Great shambles. Better. You <laughs> to think it's better to. Oops. That was the wrong one. I didn't want to use my GCD stun. He's actually got hands. I actually have to manage my cooldowns. I'm not used to that in these. And so long since I've actually tanked as anything other than warrior. I'm so used to just having the no dying. I just 
a little bit more left of the dungeon. Ooh, treasure. Oh, looks like this is the end of the dungeon. What are we gonna be able to fight? Minerva? This looks like an interesting arena. Crescent. The Kraken again. Had enough of you assist Tasha hard. Octo Mammoth. Looks a lot like a uh, level fifteen. <laughs> oh, this looks like it's gonna be interesting, I suppose. He's all going my Pokeball bag. I guess that's the best way they could get us onto these platforms without being able to run away. They probably should. Oh, I could have probably passed of arms it. I see, I have to look for the one without any tentacles. Was that a whip crack? Johnny test? Gotta get out of the way of those, I guess. Oh, that's mistaken. First, I thought that was the AoE one. It's Tidal Roar I was thinking of. Telekinesis? What? Why is this octopus psychic? So I'm probably in the wrong spot because I was too focused on my rotation. Okay, I only got hit by one anyway. Boss isn't too bad. A lot of running left and right. At least there's no positionals or anything. I 
Oh, my spot is gonna take. I hit that as a heal. I'm used to. One's I should have gotten some comedy stones anyway. Victory! Distance mill and I kinda like the more golden look of these. Nothing to it. Looks pretty neat. Couldn't you guys have just brought us here on that? I mean, we could have just jumped off the plane and then to guard instead of going all the way here. Yeah, I need a bed. You enjoy the rest of my MSQ. Thank you for being here. And, uh, have a good night. Azure. Filling these up will take a good while. I appreciate it if you stood watch till we finished. Java update. That out. I ain't getting chewed to chum by some ether bloated bugger. Oh, by the by, how are you planning on putting these to use? We could deliver them by airship, see? Arlemald. We would need them transported to Galen, to the Tower of Babel. Ah, that's a long old journey. Too long for a direct flight. Tell you what, we'll send them over with the scheduled shipment of provisions headed that way. Easy enough. Make the arrangements as soon as we get back. Save some poor chocobos having to drag this long through the snow. You have our thanks. We shall not forget your generosity. Those the ice crystals in that bag. Those are really neat. Like something the ancients would make. Indeed, I tanked it. Why would you say such a thing? It's good to have you all the same. You are not bound by contract or the threat of force, and you gain no advantage by devaluing your own contribution. Yet you must be bound by something to seek us. What is it? Shared struggles, no matter.
matter where my comrades go, I have faith they will be fine. For I know that they will walk their chosen path as surely as I walk mine. Mm. I trust them, in short. Trite though it may sound. He's realized he's a good person to ask questions. Interesting. I wouldn't know how to trust. Is there some trick to it? Yeah, we can try a trust fall here if you want. <laughs> Just stay close to this one. You'll learn in no time. Ah. That's cute. I have that effect on people, fine. it seems. Absolutely fine. <laughs> Thank you, Fred. I confess I thought thou mightst have more words of counsel to offer. Oh, she'll soon get the hang of it, even without my help. After our work here is done, I'll see myself back to the shadow. Before that, I take it you've heard as well. Heard? Indeed. The client seeketh archons, and twould seem our extensive travels and neutrality Ooh. make us prime. Someone's looking for Yanje and uh, Anchorage. Well, Something. Assuming we take on the request, I suspect I'll be stuck with you again. Don't let me down. Rather we don't basically have an honorary Archon mark for day aside. Okay. Yes it is. Yes, zero has to say. Simply staying close to you while I really learn about trust. Yes, probably. Straight and narrow. Isn't she refreshing contrast to our more virtuous company? Yeah, I have no idea what that means. Not only allow us use of the tanks, but arrange the transportation to Garlem all besides. Thus are we to count Kakol among our allies. And to thee we must also give thanks. Thank Rid for coming to our aid on such short notice. Please, you know I'm always happy to help. Don't hesitate to call me again. Uh, I'll buy that. I can probably sell it on the market board for a nice price right now. Until next time. Thankrid has been added to the Codex. The tanks, transportation, thus arranged, your first task is complete. Now turn our attention to the second. Quit obtaining the blessing of Ilzbar, attention to use the power of Babel to challenge, a challenge, channel energy unto the moon. Our destination is Camp Broken Glass, where we may present our petition to the Commander Lucio. I'm gonna go quickly sell off this material I've been hoarding. I won't need it after this tier.
A through A. There it is. Because now people are going to be penta melding, and prices are going to be skyrocketing, even for the crappier materia that people use less. Gonna need it for anything after this tier. What one is that? Ah, oh, that's not too bad looking. A quick tongue. Eh, six, seven hundred. Not too bad. Looks like prices are going back down again. Only fifty k. Let's put it at a thousand. Prices can go back up when uh, next starts. Thousand. Five. Put up fifteen hundred. Uh, at least two thousand each. Quick arm. Let's go with around. Seventeen hundred each. Sell this. Oh wow. Put on for sixty eight hundred. Quick arm nine. Now I'll throw it for about six hundred. Aren't worth a lot. And then these ones, I'll see what they go for. Those ones... Eh. I'll throw them for 500. These ones... 500. Fifteen hundred and I throw these at fifteen hundred as well. I'm curious how much these actually are right now. Oh wow. Yeah, these are worth a lot of money. Over two thousand each. Maybe I should have worked on stockpiling them a little bit better. Too late to think on that now, eh? Hopefully that should net me a little bit of a profit. MSQ. That there, that there. I don't think I'm gonna get 7,000 for anything. Let's get ready to go to the first. Are again. Try to kill me twice. 
Glad I am to hear the Garland Mall's restoration. Proceed at the pace, and then people no longer want for warm. As may, there is no substitute for appropriate garments in such frigid climes, as I can personally attest. Hello there. Random, allow me personally thank you for your assistance during the recent Void Sun incursion. Your actions saved many. What brings you here today? Okay. I'm trying to remember when that was. Please forgive us for not sending word in advance, Commander, but we seek your cooperation in a matter of great import. Indeed, we appreciate you consulting with us instead of taking unilateral action. It is no simple matter to activate the Tower of Babel, and I speak not only of technological challenges. Personally, I think we must consider the emotional impact of such an action above all else. Paying a more official name, we refer to those who remain here as the Garlean community. As you expect, they are predominantly native Garleans, most of whom are uncomfortable with ethereal manipulation. To compound matters, the trauma inflicted by Anima is still fresh. If the tower were to suddenly light up again, it was like to cause distress and reopen old wounds. Rather than facing a mass invasion by Golbez and Voids and Hordes, surely. Yes. Of course, we acknowledge the gravity of the situation as well as... ...understand the workings of magic or the rift. He would struggle to comprehend why they must be forced to relive personal horrors for the sake of something they cannot imagine. Is there to imagine? Haven't these people seen Void Sent with their own eyes? Yes. You can just say, hey, we gotta do this, or those demon things are gonna be coming back. I suppose you encounter someone who is freezing in this cold. The natural thing to do might be to make them a fire, yes? With a person's soul experience the fire of being badly burned by it, they harbored an acute fear. Despite the benefits, nay, the necessity of the warmth you offer, they may flee on instinct or worse, misinterpret your actions, regression, and lash out. With the fire that torments this individual tower, Babel torments the people of Garlemald. We cannot afford to falter here. Let's find a way to help them overcome their fear. I agree to that, and the contingent will assist however we can. We should speak with Alpha Known Alize. With the report they have established with the Garlean people, I dare say they can provide us with valuable insights. In the meantime, Orion J might ask you to remain here to oversee the technical aspects of the tower's activation. I'm just saying that if you were to throw a frozen corpse in front of the person, they might realize that the fire is the better option. It's them! I knew you wouldn't be able to stay away. Red fire even when it is freezing, from preserve one's fear to the fate which void sent to can succumb. No, it's us again. Here to torment the Garlean people. I'm glad to see you, Random. Breacher has explained our present dilemma. No one found concern that Garleans might take poorly to reactivation of the Tower of Babel. Looking at mildly, May will be up in arms over it. Trusting the Ilzebar contention is fragile enough, we need to tread lightly or we risk jeopardizing everything we've achieved. Trust again. Hmm. 
Seems there's not for it but to speak with the people. Rather than harping on about the necessity of the plan, we need to lend an ear to their concerns. Then perhaps we can begin, begin working towards compromise. In that case, I'll take you to meet the community leaders. They're at a station called Senatus near the Tenaculum Imperialis. I'd be honored to speak with them, though it would be prudent to learn where people elsewhere stand as well. That I will leave to the others, save zero. Might you accompany me? I'm sure those in Taver's Den will have their own opinions. Help note if I may drag you along. So, do I go to all three? Oh, Tertium, we will leave to you. You are no stranger to the people here. We should take little prodding to convince them to speak freely. And it's settled. Once you've learned what you can, let's all meet and form Sol Solius. We will have what I hope is a productive discussion. Ooh, that's a lot of people to talk to. Hello there, lad. No, stop it. Power's evil. It'll turn us all evil. I don't want to hear it. Leave me alone. Hmm. I mean, he's got a point. But, uh, the beam didn't turn them evil. I wasn't right. I tell you all those magics. Years ago, I lived in the provinces. The locals raised our village to the ground with the stuff. New things appear and disappear and fly and burn. I still see it when I close my eyes. He does a good turn, but let's not talk anymore about the tower. It's unnatural. And you're not wrong about being unnatural. Go there. Multiple stab wounds. Like that username. Activate the Tower of Babel, are you out of your mind? That abomination transformed my friends and family into monsters. Can't bear to look at it when I step outside. If you want to do something for us, tear the bloody thing down. Tower of Babel? What's it got to do with voice in? Can't say I understand. Still, your people have done much and more for us, Garleans. If you say it's necessary, then it's good enough for me. He has the cloud hair, it looks like. Whatever its present state, the Imperial Palace will launch the pride of Garlemald. Be no dis disrespect to you and yours, but shouldn't the Garlemald people be its caretakers instead of foreigners? If we dared speak thus to some of the contingent, they might make assumptions, carry rations, or worse. No, no, forget I say anything, please. Alright, let's go and meet everyone else. Again. I hope that eventually we get some of like a Garli and or Garlamalda reconstruction. Sort of like the Ishgar reconstruction. It doesn't have to be like housing or anything, it just We need to have a area of Garlamald that looks proper instead of ruins. Maybe something like the Dawn Reconstruction, too. Could be either. He looks on his way with the others. Hope he found the people more receptive than we did. Not particularly. There's only one dude who's cool with it. We could summon some more void sent. Let him see it. I present to you, Lords Naeus and Matius, magistrates of our political council. They've been spearheading the efforts to establish a new system of government here. Raised the subject of Tower of Babel, they insist that we speak no further until joined by representatives of the ills of our contingent. Alpha and Alza have yet to arrive, though, so perhaps we should wait. 
the matter of only some of you are present, we simply wish to make one thing perfectly clear. The power and manifestation of Garlean ingenuity and authority is once the abode of the Imperial family and will forever bear a tremendous cultural significance. Insulting enough that we have to suffer foreigners occupying it under the guise of rendering aid. They propose reactivating it. Nay, we've had enough. Caramald of old may have fallen, but she fell in civil war to her own people, not to Eorzea nor any other land. Even to her unequivocal claim to our territory, Caramald, all that lies within her bounds, is beholden to no one. Hmm. We can let the Void Scent uh, start here. Eulis, I'll trust in Eulis. Your excellencies are resolved to negotiate. I'll escort them to Tertium. Also instruct Alphamon and Alzade. Yes, there. Please, my comrades and I would speak with the residents of Senatus. So the Ilzabar contingent to hold the Tower of Babel it is I who wishes for it to be activated, and thus I think to meet that I be present for this discussion. Yet my understanding of people's hardships, their, their hopes and desires, their dreams of the future is sorely lacking. In my ignorance, I would struggle to contribute. If you worry, I will not plead our case to the community in your absence. I would wish to only identify common ground on which we might build a relationship that sees us to overcome our differences. Very well, but know that the guards will not hesitate to escort you from the premises should they judge your actions to be inappropriate. If so, then you should all head to Senatus. I'll join you there after you see their excellencies safely to Tertium. Garlemald is way too big. So the tower is still really neat. All right, there's new Carbies, I think. Probably, maybe. Senatus. Contemporary refuge for political dignitaries, hence the tight security. Given to understand the outsiders not normally permit to so much as a glimpse inside, we should consider ourselves lucky or fortunate to be given this opportunity. I hope it'll be worth the trouble. As do I, Zero. As do I. Let's see. New area. Oh, it's very much like the other one. I'm gonna take a quick look around first. much to it. Relatively luxurious compared to the refugee camp one. A lot more stuff like that. It's a lot like an office though. 
think it makes sense. That's exactly what I was saying. The end I proposed we split up and ask the residents for their views on Ilzbar contingent and the current state of affairs. You would also do well to learn more about the Enclave itself. Should you observe anything or note, pray keep it in mind. It is through open hearts and open minds that I believe we may yet convince their leaders to work with us for the greater good. Hmm. Surely. Pile of service supplies, bear marking the king they were provided by the Elsbar contingent. Enclave clearly relying upon the alliance for aid. I don't know what I think. I'm a soldier. I try not to think about politics at all. I'll say this much. Our leaders labor to preserve our culture, our way of life. Remains of it at any rate. I trust them to do what's best for Garlemald. My cat is joining me. Your organized large cask is the very same you and your comrades used to transport Ceruleum from Lapis Manilis. Why their Sinatus is unclear. Eat us. Questionably. Things are quite loud. I'm reminded of Troya. My mouse. I think my cat wants my chair. Usually when I get to my computer at this time, she's asleep in my chair. I think she's upset that I'm in it right now. How do I feel about the contingent? Conflicted to say the least. With past distribution of supplies, I know well as any that we couldn't survive without side aid. Be that as may, even though the Empire has collapsed, we have our pride. People don't want to be beholden to others forever. No divine that de denying. That chase to see our benefactors occupying the Imperial Palace. Hmm. And take my chair now. You guys trying the Enclave, have you? What were you able to learn? Uh, I don't know. Same as me, then. They accept the contingent's help out of necessity and harbor a measure of resentment. They only have themselves to blame. If they don't like the bargain, they should reject it. As I must tell you, it's absolutely out of the question. What's going on? What's going on? Very, very same. We came running when we heard shouting. It's not the matter. No, I was just trying to explain. Now, if you can clear this up, the contingent has made a reasonable request, but this man insists that it's impossible. Concerns the magic tech weapons which run rampant through Regio Urban. Every time we deliver supplies here, we have to dispatch extra men to defend against potential attacks. To address the issue once and for all, we propose the elimination of all Machina that loiter near supply route, but you've heard them, they refuse to even consider it. Can 
Magistrates have already spoken on this matter, rampant or no, those poor monk and I are darling assets. Furthermore, who's to say they are as dangerous as you attest? They then suggest that this could be a pretense to scavenge magic tech materials for your own ends. I know not if that's the case, but the fact remains we cannot allow you to destroy them. More speculation by the magistrates, I presume? Ridiculous, but they have spoken, and unless we want to inflame tensions further, there's not what we can do. Complicated relations become one not grounded, clear, and equitable arrangement. Uh, that's void, son. Equitable arrangement, of course. Well, I do understand the difficulty of your position. As soldier, you must do your duty and obey your superiors. I have an idea, but I must speak with Commander Lucian. May I take charge of this matter? By all means. Let's return to Camp Broken Glass, where I might discuss a solution I believe will satisfy all parties. Cat really wants me out of my chair. I have a feeling if I get up, I'm going to lose it. Fair enough. Nice name. I like seeing all the names and stuff when I'm just kind of hanging around. Welcome back, all of you. I pray there has been a positive development in your efforts to appeal to the Garlean community. Mayhap not yet, but there is a method by which I believe it all stand to gain. I saw a trap I intend to propose a trade agreement between Rod's hand and the people of Garlemald. Oh. Ow. You bit me. Please continue. Well, this nation have lived through collapse and war, yet they have chosen to remain, for it is their home. Uh, that they have been able to survive the source, thanks to the Illsbar contingent, or rather, in less flattering terms, they're entirely at your mercy. But your noble intentions, this one-sided relationship has fueled feelings of frustration and resentment. It's no surprise that some Garleans are loath to engage with foreigners, for fear of indenting themselves further or rendering more of their already limited autonomy. That is why I wish to present them with equitable arrangement. And there is sort of them a sense of agency after being forced to rely upon charity. Proper leadership stuff. Easier said than done, why exactly what you have in mind? Have Grandma and Rod's hand abided by a tree of non interference? Really, if we trade with another, but I wish to continue with this condition. Which would pro uh, provide your people with supplies that you require in terms of your grant sleeve to use the Tower of Apple as well as share your magic resources and expertise? As we become more reliant on your technologies, we will of course require more ceruleum to fuel them. This you possess in abundance. Port, you will be duly compensated. 
Proud to Han's culture, we get enriched by your magic tech wonders. And our ever-increasing demand for your wares, we'll see Gralimald grow wealthy and prosperous. Only when both sides keep the interest of the other in mind can an equitable relationship be forged. As a principle I once thought I understood, but I've come to appreciate all the more in recent days. Thanks to a sage council, a friend from beyond the rift. Excellency, thank you for your careful consideration of Garlemald's future. Though I cannot speak for every Garlean, I see my, I myself see no reason to object to your proposal. Indeed, if Rats at Ham were to take the initiative, other nations may follow suit and seek normalized trade relations with us. If you see sense of my proposal, I ask you to join me in the negotiations at Turkey. All right. Yeah, we read that. By all means, go with them. I have matters here well in hand. I have learned that all that I may regarding the tower's operation, so I too shall hire me to Turkey. Hmm. I've been feeling my foot because I can't. Leg and not in a great spot. Up circulation a little bit. Crowd you may have brought, but numbers went on intimidate us. Tower babbles ours by rights, and nothing you do convince us otherwise. It sure is not our intent to infringe upon the rights of the people of Girlamal. Let's instead discuss the future. As Satrap arrives at Han, I wish to establish a new trade route between our late nations. The day we presently receive will not last forever, my lord. Sooner or later, we must stand on our own two feet. But to do so, we must secure means to replenish our coffers. The proposed agreement presents a rare opportunity. Hmm, it is true we do not want for match tech and ceruleum, and for currency will be needed to procure such things as we lack. We depend on the precise terms, but I can see the merits. But I can't believe what I'm hearing. You serve the Emperor. You're a proud patriot, and now you entertain selling national resources like a common merchant. Like you, I weep for what we have lost, but if we are to rebuild Garlemal, we must make use of what few precious assets remain to us. Nonsense, utter nonsense. You are a traitor, Naeus, and there will be a reckoning. We ask when the people of Sinaitis learn of this, they will cry out for your blood. That's about to be expected. Your Medius, wait, it isn't safe out there. Let him go. You'll realize the importance of decommissioning those Magitek. Ooh. Far too dangerous for a, civil, a civilian to be outside alone. Let's go after Lord Mitius.
Let's leave Maris here in Maximus care while the rest of us join the search. Lormetius is bound for Senatus. Uh, we may be able to catch up to him in Regio or Here he has not come to any harm. Don't worry about us, just see that the guy does not come to harm. Let's go! Rescue mission! Where is it anyway? Oh, all the way up there. It was kind of hidden by that. Garland Mall is really neat. Like, they had modern roads and stuff. And I believe they had cars. Though now those cars are completely destroyed. Like, just regular truck there. And... Kind of neat because it means that uh, the regalia isn't really out of place at all. It's a lot of people. Hey, another person that I know. And cutscene. Live? Yes. For now. The sisters, you are safe. Well, we've proven the danger of the match tech. I'm indebted to you. I never asked for your help, bro. You love Garlemald dearly, Lord Metius. That much is plain, but you're not alone in that. We all mourn what has become of our homeland. Bristle at having to rely upon outsiders simply to survive the cold. Even now, I struggle with fear and uncertainty. Day after day, I ask myself, what is right? Where do we go from here? I've yet to find the answers. But I won't stop looking nonetheless. And I won't avert my gaze from our grim reality. Is there hope for us? Hopefully. Hmm. I, so long as we live, Garlemald lies in ruins. But the bonds between us will never be broken. We are the chain that connects generations past and future. You and I, its links. Help us, Lord Metius, for all we have been and for what we may yet become. Please. by the young now. It ill becomes a man of my station. Taz now watching my cursor. Might I trouble you to escort me? Ere we part, I apologize for my discourtesy. I owe you my life. Thank you. Don't mind the weird mouse thing I'm doing. I'm also 
entertaining my cat with it. We shall see the magistrates safely back to Tertium. What is it? You bound that man with trust, didn't you? That's why he did not require coercion to return. Shall we walk, perhaps? Chilly, standing around here. So that's how Zero came to join you. Still, I'm not sure I'm qualified to explain something like trust. I wouldn't describe myself as a sociable. Person. Before all this, any free time I had, I spent looking after my brother and sister. As for the magistrate, I only told him what's been on my mind of late. But I wouldn't have done so, I think, if it weren't for the twins' influence. Trust is infectious. In a manner of speaking, when someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them, in others, in yourself. Perhaps it's because the Magistrate felt that earnestness that he gave us a chance. As I did, after I was caught trying to steal provisions from the enemy. Trust comes easy in such company. wonder my world is devoid of it. No one trusts in you, and so you trust in no one. And round the wheel turns. During the Contra Memoria, we had already come to judge one another based on strength and usefulness. You either used or were used. Those who rejected this rule didn't survive. My mother wanted to save the world. To fulfill the hopes of Memoriat's good and true. After she died, I carried on her mission alone. Alone? Didn't you have anyone to help you? Almost. Two men tried just the once. Mm -hmm. A swordsman and a mage, whom I met when passing through a village. They had saved the people there from corrupted memoriates. When they learned our enemies were the same, they seemed heartened. They claimed to be soldiers of a kingdom called Baron and were traveling the realm in search of a means to end the Contra Memoria. They invited me to join them. I refused. How could I not, having learned the lessons of my world? Those who would work with others always have their own motives. I would not place myself at their mercy. Mm. I would not be forced to submit. I expected some manner of outburst, some show of frustration at having failed to deceive me. But they simply watched me walk away. I didn't know what to make of it then, but now... Perhaps they shared a bond of trust. Perhaps they were the last ones left who dared 
Perhaps they hoped I was like them, too. Perhaps it was just an offer, and nothing more. I continued fighting alone. But ultimately, I was undone. Overwhelmed by enemies that had banded together. I was cold. In pain. Wishing desperately that someone would save me. And as I lay there in solitude, I felt it happen. The breaking of our world. Memory. Darkness washed over me. And I was swept into the rift. When I finally managed to return, it was to a world forever transformed. My home, now filled with abominations. I had a chance to learn about trust and forsook it. There's still a chance. I never had the power to save my home single-handed. I should have accepted their invitation. Had I joined them as I've joined you, I might not have had to face the end of the world alone. But it's all history now. No amount of reflection or regret will change our present reality. Looking more and more on our human side. Past. You're still here, Zero. Alive. So long as you're alive, there will always be hope, no matter how bad things get. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. Think about it. It's plain that you've forged bonds with those around you. If you didn't feel that in some sense, would you have risked your life as you did for a meager ration of boots? I trust you too, for what it's worth. to weep though there is no sorrow if this is trust then what must I do how do I answer it however you like will it be a handshake He doesn't mean cut it off. Constantly, mind. A friend is a friend regardless. A friend. So that's what it means. Someone you trust. He's learning. Groups, right? Memories of Xenos, my friend, my enemy. Thank you. 
last. And so I found the answers I've sought, and I owe it all to you and Eulis. Right then, I expect the others have already arrived back at Tertium. You should join them. Hey, leftover pizza. If I want them, just put it on the market. I don't want to fill my inventory with junk. Oh, we're going right there. So glad am I to see everyone returned, and none the worse for wear. Various representatives of the Garland community are gathered here at this very moment. I dare say this is a fine opportunity to announce the trade agreement. You read the memorandum. I trust you find the terms acceptable. I do. And yes, I pray you forgive my disgraceful conduct earlier. I'm ashamed not only of my behavior, but placing the burden of negotiations solely on your shoulders in my absence. Think I'm a good dude. Note that when we brought up the subject of the Tower of Reactivation to the people at the Tapper's Jetton, some reacted quite strongly. Once we explained it would be to prevent another void set invasion, however, they were more receptive. Fair to say the recent episode is still fresh in their minds. It take too long to deliver a supply of cerulean. I have to say I didn't expect to see such a large crowd. Even the stuffy Imperials who normally keep to themselves and Senatus are here. My friends and countrymen, lend me your ears. I am pleased to inform you all on this joyous occasion that we, the people of Garlemald, have entered into a trade agreement with Rods at Han. To inaugurate our accord, we intend to grant the individual for you access to Tower of Babel. In return, Rods at Han will provide us with supplies which shall be equally distributed among the settlements of our nation. People are definitely unsure. Be clear on one point, it's not an act of charity but trade. Bargain struck between equals rooted in trust and respect. It marks a significant step towards rebuilding our nation and regaining true independence. Rods Ahan holds Garlean technology and ingenuity in the highest esteem. It is my hope that through this agreement our people enjoy a mutually beneficial relationship for years to come. Now then, we bid you gather around here the particulars that you might convey them to those elsewhere. So they're willing to accept. So burned by hardship and trauma with people down well that they are unable to imagine a brighter future. As we recognize as equals as a nation with something of value to offer to others, that validation alone is enough to rekindle their hope. It is by virtue of this partnership that we may access the Tower of Babel. A rather timely development given the Ether Tank's impending arrival. As the Tower Store has been replenished, we need but wait Ishtola signals to channel the energy on the moon, yes? And you can leave that and anything else on this end to me and Alpha No. No need to worry, devote all your energies to the mission in the void. As ever, I am in your debt. <laughs> You're good friends. Finally understood the meaning of friends.
just take a moment to review matters as they stand. Having procured sufficient stores of ether, we may now channel the requisite energy unto the moon via the Tower of Babel. Our work on the star is complete. However, we have yet to receive word from Ishtola as to the state of the lunar preparations. A ritual to open the gate and measure the Postola void scent invasion. Neither task is simple nor quickly completed. She will doubtless benefit from our assistance. The very thing I was about to propose. Let us join her above and lend what aid we may. Not. Ere we set forth, however, Ishtola did bid me relay a message to thee. As thou art well aware, a key objective of our mission is the extraction of thy sister Ajdaya from the void. Held captive for millennia and divested of an eye, she is like to be severely weakened. To make good her escape, she shall require aid. Aid that is best provided by a fellow great worm. You would have me go in my true form. Hey. Very well. You got it. Like our sire, we great worms are capable of traversing the great expanse. The journey will take some time, but I shall take myself to the moon. Dragons on the moon. I shall return this vessel to Raja Khan, that I may have both my eyes. Being able to see is very important. And until such time as we find Ajdaya, I will entrust her eye to your keeping. Not the first dragon I have had. Give me the jawbreaker. The forbidden gumball. Will you do this for me? I shall ponder your orb. Who wants to come back? Rather than being indifferent. Thank you, Ring of Fire. Mare Lamentorum. The Sea of Stars! And there's where we have to go. The moon, when Zeno's brought here, I'm feeling surprised that such a desolate place could exist in the source. Right, I forgot that you were on the moon before. I took the liberty of informing Ishtola of our arrival. She and her entourage should be here momentarily. Forgive me. I'd hoped to have everything in order sooner. My thanks for the extra hands. 
<laughs> Alfino and Alice stand ready at the Tower of Babel. Vritra is also en route. Excellent. You've done well, all of you. For my part, I've managed to prepare the ritual with help from the Watcher. Oh, the Watcher did help. All that remains is to channel the ether from below. This should, I pray, open a gate leading to the moon of the 13th. So is this gonna be only used once to get to 13th, or is it possible this is gonna be a plot device to be able to visit the other remaining shards? Artificial Atomos was one thing, but this is an opportunity like no other. Ishtola even managed to get a loan of elegant treatises on voids and summoning from the prized collection of the Sons of St. Koinak. The Empire's application of ethereal chemistry in regulating void gates provided us with many a useful insight for our work, let me tell you. I sure understood some of those words. I asked a favor of Grahatir when we were comparing notes on cross-rift travel. Leave our souls intact? I was confident he wouldn't be denied. What are you planning? The knowledge of our forebears has brought us far, as has our own. And with our knowledge and resources, we shall construct a void sent containment seal on a heretofore unseen scale. Unlike Zodiac's bindings. Containment seal. Then thou wouldst make use of. Aye, a tried and tested means of holding dark entities at bay is readily available here. <laughs> Twould be remiss of us not to employ it. We shall reforge the brands that Xenos and Fan Daniel destroyed. Awesome. That which held even Zodiac shall more than suffice for void scent of any persuasion. The Watcher is already hard at work, tending to the most critical parts of the brand's restoration. There are, however, a number of concerning factors that remain. With your help, I'm sure we can resolve them. Time is of the essence, so I suggest we continue this discussion as we make our way to the brands. Halfway through this, maybe now? Not entirely sure. Shoot. There's. I saw a group of people and thought that was where I needed to be. Oh, Legend of Zelda. That ended the matter of hand. To watch resistance, we shall reforge each of Zodiac's brands and use them direct to barrier capable of repelling void scent. Yet though we expect it to be effective against larger beings on account of its original purpose, there's a chance it'll allow a lesser void sense to slip through. For our prior second line of defense, I believe the Lompert supporters will be suitable for this purpose. Okay, random, two of you have strong report with our lunar allies, but have you meet with Living Way in Best Ways Burrow and provide any assistance they require? I will join you as a void sense. My knowledge may be of use. Excellent idea. In the meantime, the rest of us will see to reforging the brands. Of some word when we have finished, we do the same. 
avocados. From Mexico. Right, Zero's never met the Lopperettes. There you are. Stole has apprised me of your present undertaking. I understand that she wishes to play her pride and joy, the veritable carrots of her eye. Her rival combat spores as a precautionary measure in case this void sent. The attainment seals of hers pro proves lacking. As we speak, my fellows are ramming up what units they can. Bring them to the northeast corner in short order. Please wait there. At least they were very receptive to it. Wave? See them for. Oh. Neat. Never noticed them before. What's that shiny? Is that elemental? Yes, it is. Not something I'll farm for, but Pyro's blade look like. Okay, that's neat. Just being burning. There's our destination. Wait, there's zero Nuriandre. I want to talk to them. There's the Elemental Armor Fending, which is the best one. Ooh, nice army! I trust they won't attack us out of nowhere. Welcome contribution. Thine initiative never ceaseth to amaze. Oh, stop! You're making me blush! Though we have fulfilled the purpose given to us by Hydling, aiding the people of Atheris remains our greatest joy. So you can count on us. Right, so, we originally deployed these supporters to patrol the moon and keep it safe. They've never tussled with Void Scent before, but with sufficient data, they ought to hold their own against the ghastly fiend. Practical, tactical data acquired in the moment, and who better to give the supporters <laughs> an educational thrashing than the champion of a series? I believe I would make a better instructor. Not only um. have I fought Void Scent, <laughs> scaring the crap out of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't think you could scare robots off. Oh, 
liking the humor of these quests a lot. <laughs> My turn. My turn. <laughs> this is all the brand stuff. Just the little sound effects with the head turning. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. PvP season going on yet? Yes, there is. Are the rewards? A weapon, amount, and hand to heart. Eh. I'll have to look to see if there's any new PvP rewards that are interesting. Or that might be next patch. Living way, we're ready. Can you hear me? We've just finished restoring the brands. Let us make Ooh. it seem once you finish tending to matters there. The culmination of our efforts is nigh. The brands are repaired. I haven't seen them in the fully repaired form yet. There's only the one that was left over. three so I think I might be able to do all the quests in this stream because this one's a longer stream than usual just to try and get as far as I can of 
course, I'm going to be doing the new fight blind as Paladin. I'm going to be really scuffed in terms of my damage output, but well, simply due to my lack of knowledge and rotation and whatnot, but uh, I'm going to make an honest effort, at least. Orders of the salt cool. I shall keep the order off no one else. Suspicion about energy or getting our implications. Well, well, terrible form. Let's activate the brands. That's all. If there are no questions, then let us begin. Sad they got rid of uh, Selene as a summonable fairy, but the fact that it's a fairy glamour now means that uh, they're saying everyone who used Eos are uh, default basic, which means that Selene is still the best of the two. Doing the coils of Bahamut thing. Ooh. This time it's for good, not for evil. We may pass. This is going to be really neat, though. Let's go. We've got this. There's a portal of hell on the moon. Oh, good thing I have to, have to go to each one individually. If it's good enough to seal Zodiac, it's good enough to seal whatever comes out of there. All right, I'm jumping in first. The gate is open, and the seal appears to be in place. Let's see how well it holds. We've got this. Hey there, Scout. Hold on, Stinian.
gonna hit a wall. Yes. Nice. It works. I dare say the seal doth serve its purpose. Let's Indeed. go to the void. Moment, a voice sent emerged from the gate, by which we may safely assume it leads to the 13th. Keep mixing up 13th and 1st. incredible, Ishtola. Truly incredible. Oh, what an honor it is to have been part of this historic achievement. A part is an understatement. None of this would have been possible without you and yours. Our success has also served to solidify our understanding of cross-rift travel. The Asians rejoined reflections to the source by instigating elemental imbalances. These imbalances weakened the barrier between realities, causing the ether of a reflection to flood the source. But why is it that reflections are predisposed to rejoin the source? Why have they never merged with one another? Thou art suggesting there is a unique property inherent to the source, one responsible for such an outcome. I mean, it's kind of in the name. It's the source, and they're all shards of the source. So it's the original shard. Source. It is my conclusion that, as the point of origin for the reflections, the source has an innate pull over them. Hydaelyn, I believe sought to suppress that pull, which is why she was created with the power of light, of stasis. <laughs> Meanwhile, the power of darkness, of activity, reigns in the void. Hydaelyn's influence would naturally be weaker, and this manifested in the form of planar fissures. Working with this hypothesis, I set my sights upon where the pull was assessed to be strongest, and through our combined efforts, we succeeded in opening a gate to the void. Now, I must stress, it was because we sought the void that we succeeded. Pleased though I am to have my theory proven, the secrets of travel through other reflections still elude us. Even so, in the reality that lies beyond the Eighth Umbral Calamity, there are those who found a way to reach the first. I will not rest until I do the same. One step closer to fulfilling your dream, eh? Just a step. Many more remain to be taken. Which further motivates me to forestall a voice sent invasion. So come, let us set forth to find Asdaya and put an end to Golbez's plot. You got this. I shall take us to the gate. As we did discuss prior, I shall see the alchemist safely home, then together with the Loperitz, maintain vigil over the gate. May the sisters watch over and keep you safe. Music. Seven chord music. You've been mistaken. Ah, uh, the drift 
between worlds with memories and everything. Not my first time, and it certainly won't be my last. Red Moon. Bit uh, cursed, but why oh, it's red? This is the moon of the thirteenth. I'm curious about the other shards' moons. Ooh. The world is purple. Ever since the flood, it has been a sanguinary orb in the sky. No void scent. A rather more subdued reception than I had anticipated. But unsurprising, given how jealously Golbez conceals the location of his domain. Still, we must remain on guard. One of his minions came through the gate, after all, and more may lie in wait. I do not sense an assistant. Where could she be? There. We'll find her. This is actually really neat. And there's no seal. There's the hole that Zodiac was in, but there's no seal of any sort that I can see. And naturally, there's no Alug stuff on here. I think I'd be able to at least ride a Mount. So far away, why can't I mount? Looks like this one's closer. I'm interesting that despite the shards being like other dimensions, the sky still has stars in it. I've assumed that the different shards are in like pocket dimensions or something, but no signs of life. There's no signs of Lopper buildings either here. Maybe it was reformed. Golbez took over any existing stuff like the pillars and lopperets turned into this.
I'm gonna have to go back. Oh, hey. Vacuity is the weather. Oh, I can just barely make out the thrones and stuff. Recognize it from the cutscenes. to see oh let's go Go rescue squad. It's obviously a trap, but I have no way to go other than into the trap, so. Ooh, shards of the brands. Was he using the containment to contain her instead? with Ashdaya's eye, were you not? I... I was. Let's return it. Look, look with your special eye. And we just have to crush him. So this is indeed Corbez's domain. 
Okay, I get why I can understand them. Probably why Estine can understand the words, but I'm surprised that Zero can. Unless they're speaking their own intentions, sort of like the Echo. Song War is over. The leg has fallen. Ooh. What happens if we... What now, then? Does this great worm intend to remain a captive male for all eternity, not daring to test her chains? Estidian. So south we go. You heard her. Shall we look into this spot near and dear to our enemy's heart? Let's, let's hunt him down. Bissell Dark. So clues less to the same. Take charge of this area if you can see it to the south. Of course. Let's talk to people first. Stinian and Ishtola. Nothing here, perhaps. Further south? I've confirmed curse research, but I doubt there's anything to note further west. Perhaps we'll try looking to southeast. There's Vritra. I assume it's further than Vritra. Well, that's a pretty big circle. Oh, boy. That's a big... Oh, 
Is that it? I'm gonna say that's a big circle of interest points, but... This is an unusual stone. Is this what I'm looking for? It's almost like a grave. Did you find something? Ooh, a crystal. Contra Memoria crystal. A memoria. But who's? The echo time. First person. He was one of those two people. That Zero chose not to stick with. Deserved. Trusting fools. Like you would be heroes. Aye. You do well to keep a close eye on each other. It always ends the same way. A knife in the back. And better to have the handle towards your hand. You'll see. Oh, yes. Or is this the person? I can't bring myself to pray for the unrepentant. Wait, or is that Golbez? Man than I. I think that guy's Golbez, not the one whose eyes I'm looking through. I shudder to imagine what might have happened if you hadn't dealt with the Dark Ones. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, her? She's like you, I hear. Hunts memoriates taken by darkness. Well, well. A kindred spirit. Perhaps we will finally have a new comrade. No interest in working with others, much less someone who looks as suspicious as you. <laughs> if there's nothing else, I'll be on my way. Even when we share the same goal, we can't overcome the mistrust. Such is the way of things, the wisdom of our era. accomplished much already and another person may well have been more of a hindrance than help now then our work here is finished his majesty has summoned us so let us not delay to baron
Had not the vision of the past, did you? You were there. What? I was in it. It's them. The pair I met in that village. Which means the one sealed in this memoria is... Wonder if Golbez is gonna recognize her. You have come, you who would oppose our crusade. The other one. Oh, he was in his armor at that time too. Oh. You. I know you. That might. Okay, so I was right the first time. Is that so? Hmm. From the world before, I dare say. Tis impressive enough that you have managed to retain your mortal form. But to remember your past besides. But that is of no moment. You are the memoriat who vanquished my minions. Correct. And what if I am? Then... I would bid you join me. As a child of our world and slave to the wheel. Fight with me for the salvation of all our souls. Fight with you? More like fight as your pawn. It isn't me you want, but my power. And if I don't obey, you'll bind me like you bound that dragon. But no more. I refuse to be bound ever again. I fight only for myself. And for those in whom I trust. My friends. I see. A pity. It is for the dragon that you have come, yes. When first you appeared, I thought simply to remove a threat to our plan. Never did I imagine that you would reach this place. And gift me a golden opportunity. <laughs> Long as it has been imprisoned, this dragon has grown feeble and weak, its spirit extinguished. Your coming has served to rekindle her forgotten hope. Her yearning to be free, to return home. That is the key to our deliverance. Oh, he's turning. seen a void sent dragon before.
Also, it just kind of looks like there's Daya, but purple. Oh boy. Keep our guests occupied. Be me and him. Cool. He's just gonna keep summoning even if Moria. Yeah. Got it. If yeah. he saved. Good eye, then. I'm not alone. Just assured, I need no invitation. Crystal of Asm. I love how they made Duty Finder canon. Voidcast dies. Void cast this time. Ooh, instant pop. I don't care about being main tank or not, so. Go versus Golbez. You aren't gonna be in stupid outfits. Nope. Ooh. 
Neat sword. Knight in black. Cool, Bez. I'm going to be focused on this, so my commentary will probably be non-existent. Seems like an AoE. Uh, probably want to move away from that. Sounds like a cleave. It's on the side that his blade is actually on. since I don't want to be main tank. Ooh, what's this? I'm... Anything ice sounding, I'm gonna move. Ashdaya's Shadow. Ooh. There's a phase transition? I don't know what this is. Oh, I should have, for Black Fang, I should have popped that. Ooh, but we're only a quarter of the way done. Ooh, that's an AoE. Oops, got a bone. Come forth, my of 
Hold on, is that like the Omega? I'm main tank. Sounds like a raid wide. No, it was not. I'm just gonna pop in bowl and ignore it. Oops. I got hit by both by accident. Oh well. Bit longer of a reach.
GGG, but... Hey, that's victory! I only died once! Now I'm curious what the ult, uh, not ultimate, uh, extreme's gonna be like. Gonna give it to my co-tank. They picked up my slag, I picked up theirs. That's pretty much a perfect, uh... Perfect way of fight goes. Cube. No more cube. Are you all right? Not to memorial him. What's happening? Oh, the moon being his domain if he's defeated. <laughs> at last, the moment is at hand. Hmm. I give her back. You won it fair and square. Darkness made manifest once abided in the depths of this abyss until one day it dispersed in a haze of ether. In the absence of the great flow, that ether has no Not just yeet my sword at him. Like he yeeted the dragon. I really have to fight Void Sense Odiarch. Next patch. I assume that's a reference to an older Final Fantasy that I haven't played. Okay, so yeah, it just looks like a big Zodiac Void Scent thing. Lost that other crystal. Damn it. It's too strong. Our warding scales may not hold. Not against a void sent born of Zodiac's ether. Mm. 
I'm the only one who can manage this. So next patch, that's gonna be the boss, I'm sure. Moon's haunted. Where's the Oh wow, that's I can suddenly see him. Yeah, back safely at least. The Dark Throne. Final quest. Then I will go unlock the raid and end off stream after this. That is development that we escape with our lives and accomplish it unto itself. That we could anticipate it as Jai's yearning to return home could be manipulated in this fashion. As we now must contend with a new form void sent hell's bent on breaching the rift. With such prodigious strength, Euromus is like unlike anything I have ever seen. A name for an ancient hero, as Golbez says, though none can say if there is even a sliver of truth to the legends. Perhaps Golbez shows it in the hopes that his champion will do that which no one could in Hatrimoria save the world. The true hero would not damn another world to save his own. We're not allowed let that happen, but regardless, we need to regroup. I loathe, though I am to admit it, we are in no state to face a void scent of Zeromus's might. Creature, not least of all, body and mind both. For now, let's return to Raz Ahan and take stock of the situation. Very well. Random, may I trouble you to head, way, head to Best Ways Bro and appraise Urianje of the situation? Sure. The rest of us shall tend breach those wounds before returning to Razahan. Rejoice there and on. We go. Hey, I passed uh, four million gil now. I've been slowly working on this for a while, so I'm excited about that. Hey, random, thou art returned. You say it hath been blessedly uneventful in your absence, but importantly, we'll have your mission to the void. It went to hell, but I beat Golbez in a fight. Shia should be used to birth the dread void sent born of Zodiac's residual Aether. Although we could not have predicted this outcome, there is one small mercy, the void sent containment seal. As we employ the self-seen brands that once imprisoned Zodiac in its creation, the seal should serve to hinder his aromas. Yet for how long none can save for enemy strength and noble while the barrier was erected in haste. I shall rejoin our combats and on deliberate Deliberate measures, yes, then I shall remain here to maintain my vigil over the seal. Should we observe signs of an impending incursion? Rest assured, I shall send word without delay. Go well, my friend. Back to Elzebard. 
Rods at Han. Megaduda. Chat with everyone about the events. Expecting you. Without dropping your comrades turned earlier, I can help but notice they were in slow spirits. Unfortunately, they are. Do you remember Chiriato and Barfarello? The cowardly pair of Voidsent that dwelled in my domain. Yes. The one that ate the other, right? devoured Farfarello, and in so doing, he inherited an all-consuming fear of Paparicia. For as you know, when a void scent is devoured, it doesn't simply cease to be. Its soul persists within the devourer, and when a void scent dies, all the souls that harbored may break free to become individual entities once more. That is to say, by defeating Zeromus, we may yet save Ashdaya. He's actually consoling Vritra. And to make certain that we do, we must remind her of who she is. When the time comes, you must call to her. Call with all your being. Zero's grown. Then it's settled. Our objective is to defeat Zeromus. While it is unsettling that a void scent could be born of Zodiac's ether, its very nature may render it susceptible to the brands that once contained him. Did Orionge have aught to say? I mean, in theory, I see. shouldn't be too hard for me to beat him. May not hold for long. Then I mean, is paramount. I beat Zodiac when he was seven parts, so a one part from the 13th. Probably not going to be quite that bad. Couldn't we just let it come to the source and strike it down here? Doing so would consign Ashdaya's soul to the Ethereal Sea. Any attempt to ensure her survival demands that we deal with Zeromus in the 13th. I could barely go near it. Never mind land a blow. So thick was the shroud of darkness. How do you propose we fight such a foe? Simple. Against impenetrable darkness, we must wield resplendent light. And it just so happens, there is a world the with first. light. I was about to say that. Bring them together of a consort. The question of how we will harness that light, you may leave to me. We could try to counterbalance each other. With our recent discoveries and proven techniques, as well as the aid of comrades near and far, I have faith that we will find a way. But only if I begin my work at once. Rest up while you can. For there will be much to do when I return. By bringing the darkness of the 13th to the... And light of the 1st to the... By swapping the darkness 
of the 13th with the light of the first. Possible to aid both worlds. In theory, anyway. I shall betray you if you have need of me. Wait. Allow me to join you. I must become stronger for what lies ahead. You just want to see him shirtless, don't you? Making me more and more curious about other shards, too. Ajdaya is my sister, and long have I dreamed of saving her. If I am to do so, I must be better than I have been. Blessed though I am to have you and yours as comrades, I cannot well ask you to lift me up every time doubt and despair creep into my heart. I won't falter again, this I swear. I will hold fast to my conviction, Random, and I pray that you will stand with me to the last. And that's MSQ. And cutscene. The Dark Throne, I assume. as fresh as if it were yesterday old friend oh it really was of your this guy and the pain so that guy was contra memoriad maybe Light's embrace to shadows deep, a world to save, an oath to keep. Woohoo! That must cue. And... Others, Charlian. Right, so the last thing I'll do tonight is unlock, or not tonight. So used to it being at night that I stream, not early like this. The last thing I'll do today is head to uh, unlock the final. 
your raids. Right in here. I'll take off my hat. Eater of Souls. Eh, random. I had a feeling you would arrive soon. Urgent tidings always seem to carry you in their wake, after all. Master Fortuno recently said word in regarding his investigation. He's uncovered information regarding Professor Claudian's whereabouts and the sun appearance of pandemonium in the ethereal sea. We do well to meet him at once. If you have no objections, as we proceed to the eye to scope forthwith, I shall make the necessary arrangements and join you shortly. Off we go! In a while. It's weird that you, they removed the Aether Currents in this area. So you're forced to walk. Well, sort of forced to walk. Either way, it's annoying. Let me fly! Oh, passage to Aetoscope. Ooh, I love the music. Ooh, this place was blocked off last time. So cool. I absolutely love the music in this place. Let's see what's going on. Finish my summons with haste. Let's work with formalities and jump straight to the heart of the matter. Name of the whereabouts of Professor Claudian, who has not been seen since his ill-advised journey to Azilaw. Subsequent expedition discovered an airship in the vicinity of the Therochemical Research Facility. Although the vessel clearly belonged to the Professor, he was nowhere to be found. There are signs that someone, perhaps the man himself, had forced their way into the facility, so this trail was duly followed. However, the trail led nowhere in the most literal sense. It was almost as if an entire sector of the facility had been wrested from existence. Further investigation confirmed the expedition party's suspicions. Now an entire sector of Azila had been teleported elsewhere. Is this the section? Did they incorporate pandemonium into Azila? Its destination was none other than the Ethereal Sea here, where its elegant facilities reconstituted as the Halls of Pandemonium. Great success. Wow. I mean, the professor is there in that monstrous fortress? Possibly. Another leading theory. We are certain enough, at least, to risk sending you into its depths in search of the missing man. I got it. Before we do, there's another pressing matter. Pandemonium may appear firmly sealed, and a known entity was recently spied crawling forth from its gates. Oh, that creepy thing. Observe its behavior with the Aetoscope, and to our horror, witnessed it gorging upon the sand ether like a ravenous beast. As we stop, the ethereal sea harbors the souls of the departed. It's the wellspring from which all creatures are born. If its flow were disabled, life itself might cease to be. Precisely, its safety must be our first priority. 
rid us of this menace, then we will be at liberty to investigate what wicked machinations are afoot. I'm looking forward to it. Memory crystal was recovered from Claudian's airship. Take with you, it may yet provide some insight into the enigma of pandemonium. Without Themis, there will be no army of phantom warriors. I realize you are more than capable of combat, but are you sure? Are you certain you'll be alright? I have my own means to do it. Themis isn't the only one who can summon our illusory allies. I have a certain stone from my past. <laughs> he isn't? Why, of course. I should have known someone of your talents would master even the ar ancient's arcane arts. Apologies for my failure of imagination. <laughs> Once we are freed of the looming specter of pandemonium, you must promise to share your knowledge for the sake of thorough reports, of course. In the meanwhile, I shall focus my efforts on providing you with what information and support I can. I shall gather researchers from the confluence to construct a means to convey you to your destination. The rest is in your hands. And that's the new raid unlocked. Quite excited for it. And that'll be it for the stream. Today's a special early and long stream. They usually only go for like three hours. This is now bordering on 20 minutes shy of five hours. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's special stream. Uh, I'll look for someone to send y'all off to. And in the meantime, I'll start my plugging. First, my Discord, where you can chat with me and my community. I'll give me special updates like I did with this uh, special stream. Uh, I might try and do this again for next patch when it comes out. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, secondly, YouTube, where you can find my VODs. I'll be uploading this one as well, so if anyone missed it, because they want to not be spoiled, they can watch it later. And thirdly, my Twitter, which I have actually used recently to post some memes. Uh, which I might start doing more often. I'm going to look and see what channels are live to send you all off to. Let's see if there's anyone I'm following that's doing the new patch. It's probably going to be harder to find someone who's online since this is a different... than my usual online times. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I'm going to look to see if... looking streams let's see Let's just go for the easy top. Looks like Curiari. Not sure much about them, but okay.
I'll go with one with a smaller number of words. I'd... Maybe I'll do this. Send you all off. Send you all off to them. This person, so uh, they. Oh yes, I did choose the right one, but I went with the wrong one. Or did I? There we go. And if you want to use it, my raid command. Yeah, as always, my usual schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 7 till 10 PST. Today was just a special off day, so, uh, hope to see you guys in the next one.